First of all, this video is sponsored by Wix, so if you're looking to build a website of any kind, check out the link in the description. So, this video you're about to see, I did record an intro, but it's rubbish, so instead, here I am. Last week, me and my friend Aslan and Liam went down to Cornwall to take some photos for my next series of like proper work, uh, shooting on 8x10, but along the journey, we also took this thing, the tennis ball camera. Who knows if it's any good? So we just had a little drive, like half an hour, to this very nice picturesque town, because apparently there's a good coffee shop here. So we're just gonna have a walk around and kind of see what's going on. So we're currently just sat at this uh, very picturesque dining spot for this coffee shop and Liam has come up with the perfect game to play whilst wasting time. So if you were a boat, which boat would you be? So we've got a pick for Liam. So George was reckoning, what do you reckon? Which boat is Liam? Hmm. Should we get a closer Hmm. <laughs> yeah, closer inspection. I reckon you're either one of the really small ones over there, <laughs> or you're the one over there all by himself, yeah, I, <laughs> nice I, I, and lonely. I, I, I was gonna say he's this one down here. He's kind of half on land, half on sea, <laughs> confused about life, doesn't know where he's going. How'd you feel? I mean, I expected nothing less or nothing more, to be honest. Yeah, no, I'm that really big one over there. Of course you are. textures down here on this like beach type thing and trying to take some photos that are just like nice and abstract um, hopefully the tennis ball does it justice just quickly getting Liam a nice new tinder profile picture oh. anyway yeah we're just getting Liam a new profile picture for tinder so uh, catch you guys soon So we've come to a decision, uh, now that the tide's come in, that this is in fact Liam as a boat. The weird... <laughs> like the beer cans. Inside bit. Is that beer cans there? That's perfect for him, isn't it? The beer like, cans. There's no way you Lovely. can move inside that little hole. You've just got to stand there a bit like a pole like that. You yeah. couldn't even sit down. You could not. So we have now arrived at another town uh, for the next photo, which I'm going to be taking on my 8x10, which we'll forget about, but it's pretty good scenery here. Probably the most like authentic small town I've ever been in. It's so small, crazy hills and very picturesque. Oh wow. <laughs> Well, it's pretty good, <laughs> pretty good. Bit scary, bit of the end of the world, but it's worth the risk. If I die now, I'll die happy, and so hopefully someone will develop my film for me. It's a good thing that I have the only other camera which can kind of compete with the quality of 8x10 with me, so now it's time to shoot it on this bad boy and uh, hope it holds up.
full Cornwall mode activated. So, uh, <laughs> we've just arrived back in the place we started, in uh, the nice town with the boats. We're here because the England-Croatia match starts in an hour. Apparently, they're playing it on the beach. So, what would be better than to take some photos with the tennis ball at the game? I have now seen it all. That is a Cornish pasty stuffed toy. Wow. Fuss, no bother. This time it just feels different. And when you wake up, so guys, I heard we're on this very special beach with the football. I heard this beach has got treasure if you dig down. Let's have a look. Wow, Red Sport at 400. It's a triple baby. This is quite amazing. Pretty special. taking some photos, uh, had a nice fun time climbing on top of Aslan's car with the big camera, which was relatively scary. Um, and now we've come for pasties, because mm. it wouldn't be right to come to Cornwall and not have one. And also, pasty crisps. Yeah, that's pretty odd. That is the size of a baby. I'm quite content. doing a lovely picturesque little walk. Reluctantly doing a picturesque walk to the Aslan. I don't really know where we're going, but I'm sure it'll be nice. We've only got like three or four photos left on the tennis ball, so gotta choose them wisely. I don't think I've ever seen such blue water in the UK. It's, it's quite amazing. It's like proper teal and like actually relatively see-through. Like slap that M31 lot on it, mate. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I'd just like to chime in from the water side. Uh, we just finished up that roll. I just want to make one complaint about the tennis ball, that it's very unergonomic to wind the roll in. Uh, normally you have the like little pins or something to do the wind, but this one's like just a sharp piece of plastic. Very, very painful. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but I guess I'll catch you soon when I've seen the photos. Okay, I got one more thing. Aslan, go long! Woo! Oh, it's a bit risky. It's a bit risky. <laughs> That's it. I actually think it was kind of interesting using a really bad camera. Uh, some of the photos didn't come out very good, but I think it was more like of an exercise rather than anything. Like stripping back everything down to the bare essentials and the bad quality of the photos almost gives this like level of abstraction which allows you to like purely focus on composition and I think that was fun and interesting and I actually like enjoyed taking those photos and I think I'll enjoy them as memories I don't think they're ever going to be like the best piece of art but I think it was like it was fun it was refreshing uh, so I have for a while actually been thinking about handing out some less quality cameras to some of my friends uh, who are good photographers and seeing what they can come up with. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see and actually leave a comment of who you'd like to see or if there's any weird cameras that you want to see them shoot. Sorry this video like took ages, a lot's been going on at the moment, so uh, hopefully they'll be a bit more frequent and uh, 
better <laughs> from now on. Before we go, thank you to Wix for sponsoring this episode. If you're looking to build a website of any kind, whether it's actually a photography portfolio or whether it's for a business or a blog or just a shop, it's all super easy to do and you don't need any experience. But if you do have some experience, you can also like go in and fully code things. It's a really diverse and powerful tool. And the first 50 people that sign up get a nice discount. So check out the description, click the link, check it out. And uh, thank you to them. And thank you to you for watching and being patient. So goodbye.